here and I'm coming to you with a quick tutorial on how to come up with your next design of your website. So it's the new year and we all want to, you know, spruce up everything, um, you know, make everything much better than it was last year. And if you're thinking about redesigning your website, uh, instead of coming up with a design from scratch by hiring a designer, uh, there is a site which you can go to, um, which has thousands and thousands of professionally done um, website themes that you can choose from and apply to your website. And like in the matter of like 10 minutes, you can have a great looking site uh, at a fraction, like a very small fraction of the cost. So that site is called Theme Forest. And you can go to that site at themeforest.net. And basically, it is a marketplace which uh, developers and designers from all over the world can sell their designs or videos or whatever media that they have um, on the on the marketplace, and people can buy it. So for the, we're gonna look at uh, different themes which are like kind of the skin of a website, um, and. You, if you're using like a WordPress website, uh, you can um, create a theme or buy a theme, like a corporate theme or a retail theme, an e-commerce theme. So any kind of site that you have, or even if you have your own blog, uh, you can come up with a, you know, find really beautiful themes um, at a fraction of the price. And like these are what, 49 US dollars. So that's quite amazing. So when you're looking at the themes, um, like if you have a WordPress site, you can go to WordPress and if you're looking for a corporate uh, page, uh, you can go to press corporate and you can browse through by just hovering above the icons and you can take a look at the preview of it. And, um, and you can also look at the demo of the site, which I will um, go through in a moment. Um, but if you wanna narrow down your search, uh, to like sites that you want, for example, you want simple and clean. Uh, it will sort out the themes to suit your style. So like these is, these keywords for the theme will show like simple and clean, um, and hopefully that's something that you're looking for. And uh, if you want to sort it even more, uh, you can even sort it by trending items, best sellers, best rated. Um, you know, you want to find the most popular themes. Yeah, go ahead. Um, these are the best themes. You can see the sales here. Um, but of course, uh, don't pick the most popular ones because, you know, you might find someone with exactly the same site. Um, sometimes I like I like to go with uh, trending items. Uh, let's see. If you go to, like, trending items, those are the, the themes that are doing really well at the moment. So you can see how, how many sales that they have, what's the price, and what's the ratings. So I, I take a look at, you know, anything that has four, four and a half, five stars, you know, I would take a look at that. So if we want to uh, take a look at how it looks, so we, I'm just going to click one, um, and it opens up the theme page. So it talks about uh, what it is, so it has the different uh, features of it and a description. Um, but the best part is that you can actually see a live preview of the site by just pressing live preview. And as it loads up, I can see how uh, how it looks. So here the theme is loading up and uh, you can see the, the the layout. So I'm not I'm not taking I'm not like looking at just the pictures because the pictures are all demo pictures. So when you buy it, it doesn't come with the pictures. So I actually look at the layout of it. So you know it has a big banner here and a big uh, headline here with a sub headline and it's a slider. So and this is a kind of animation that's built into the the site and I know that it's kind of a boxed layout because the uh, you know there's it doesn't like have any lines here it has lines here and I'm looking at the icons and this the size of the the fonts and you know of course when you uh, hover uh, when you highlight it and what color does it go um, I'm looking at the icons because these are the icons that come with it um, and just the the layout and uh, so I will also look at the inside pages. So if I have a services page, I'll take a look at the layout of it. Uh, if I were going to apply this layout to my site, is that something that uh, would be possible? So, you know, I'm just looking at the layout and, you know, looking at the different, the small things, like if I hover above a button, what happens? There's like little animations that happen. So th those are things that I, I take note of. 
if there's a portfolio that you have of like past work that you've done, uh, that's something that you should take a look. Yeah. And uh, another thing, uh, you can look at the short codes. Short codes are like little uh, components of content that you can customize. So I'm just going to load up here. So you can do drop caps, you can do accordion style. So these are all very standard and, and you'll find after looking through a lot of themes that they all have the same features, just the design is going to change slightly. Um, and also you should take a look at if it's responsive. So this, you can see how it responds by, you know, you, by showing you how it changes. So that's something that you also need to keep in, in mind. Um, looking at, uh, you should also take a look at some of the features that they have. Um, okay, you would look at the buyer ratings, um, but you also look at when it was created and when it was last updated. You don't want to buy a theme um, that was just made like a month or two ago. And I did this once and I got into a lot of trouble because um, some, there were a lot of bugs and there were not like the standard features that uh, you usually have in a theme. So generally try to pick a theme that's like at least six months old, but definitely not too old. Like this is made in uh, almost two years ago. So uh, you can see the kind of the fashion of, of the of the, the design has changed since uh, since then. So, you know, try to pick something that's as uh, modern as you can get. And you look through browser compatibility. Usually this is all very standard, like uh, documentation. Uh, all these things are, you know, pretty standard. And also make sure that the layout is responsive, which means that, you know, if you are looking on the mobile browser, the layout is gonna change uh, accordingly to, to make it look uh, suitable. Um, and, and you can do that by just, um, by yourself, you can just change the, the uh, browser size and that's very easy to kind of see how it responds. Uh, other than that, uh, you know, you can look through the fixes and some of the, you know, how many bugs have been fixed and, and just make sure that everything's up to date. Uh, other than that, um, yeah, take, take a look at all the different things that they have. As I said, they also have like code, um, videos, um, graphics, a lot of things that you need uh, all under this. So it's it's like my go-to place for any kind of media and definitely my go-to place for themes. So I definitely encourage you to check out themeforest.net.